Hi, I'm not yet dead, and welcome back to Farming Simulator. Guess I should have said No Man's Land, but there you go. It's been a while since I've done either, so there you go. So, as it says, new plow. We've got a new plow. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, well, it's been a really long time since I did this. Uh, oh, and someone keeps telling I should. Um, I've been told I should go back to my old. Uh, introduction uh, I'll try and remember next time anyway um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about go watch some of my earlier videos uh, so yeah anyway as I keep saying right so I finished the um, the corn chaff harvest that's now in the bunker compacted and covered I um, I was planning on leaving it to fill it up but we'll do that later um, I thought for now I'd just get that covered and uh, get it fermenting and then we can uh, worry about that another time and we're going to give this a bit of a go because the, the field now needs ploughing having done corn har whoops having done corn harvest how did that happen okay so let's unfold this might take a bit of jiggery pokery I might even need to put the menu on Let, let's see how we do so technically that's the wrong way around so let's fold the plough the other way. And, oh, actually, yeah, we will. Sorry, wrong button. Uh, de -de 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 -de. Deactivate packer. I need a bigger TV. No. What number is that? Uh, that's not helpful is it ah let's do that I can't read what number that is I really can't oh it's 10 mm -hmm. ok fine gotcha and actually I should have apologies just give me a second Just going to share this out just in case. I'll get into trouble if I don't. Do, do, do. Okay, throw that. Right, let's give it a go. So we don't need that anymore. Uh, so if we just edge forwards, looks like I need to square the field off a little bit. That's in. Let's plow. Okay, lovely. I've been wanting to try this ever since. The, I mean, I did. I did give it a play when, uh, obviously, when the, when the um, pack came out, but I haven't actually used it in anger, as you might say, in real life. Not this is either of those things, but that's what they say. I'm going to get angry if I keep missing the edge though. It's funny because I am straight, which just shows how not straight my fields are, but that line is spot on. So I might need to come back and just do the edge. That's not too bad actually. Right, so now we fold the plough back. Just come back a little bit. And then we'll do a 10 to activate the packer. There we go. Very nice. Not quite to the edge. I suppose technically I should be ploughing in the next furrow. I should have my front my wheels over in that furrow which would then mean that we are right like that and that's where we should be I mean even with the cultivating it's still not a particularly wide plough or a wide cultivator but it does a good job right fold it over 
but I love the animation on this thing I really do right get that wheel in that furrow again there we go now we're talking So bizarrely enough it never occurred to me that ploughing should be easier done from the front. Do you need to be able to see where you're putting your wheel? Lighting's not helping. It's the end of the day. I've, I've been quite busy between um, finishing off the corn harvest. Um, I've uh, taken the milk out of the cow shed, um, which again wasn't an easy thing to do, but I managed it. I, the trigger was in the wrong place. That was why I was struggling last time. Um, I was I was using the wrong trigger, but I figured that out now. So uh, so that's all done. So yeah, still working towards uh, manu maneuvering. What? Moving the cows. Ah, wrong way. What am I doing? Wakey wakey. a little better there we go so yes yeah, so I've, I've emptied most of the milk out that's now sitting in the um, in the silo uh, I've uh, graveled a few more of the roads what else have I done I've ridden one of the horses continue turning over the fields up at the main farm uh, yeah lots so we've done a few bits hence it's quite late in the day but we'll finish off the day I've got some building to do so um, I thought I'd, I'd see out the day earn some money and uh, then I'd have some finances to build to, to finish hopefully some of the last big big builds that are really wanting to do functional builds and then we'll just focus on the sort of uh, more artistic aspects I suppose you might say so it's not a quick job but it's doing a good job and I do love this it's a great piece of kit ah we're going out of line stop 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 Certainly wouldn't win any ploughing competitions, that's for sure. But we're going. Right, let's leave a worker on this. And we'll go see what else there is to do. No doubt there'll be some neatening up to do at the end. Hopefully he's got enough runoff. Yeah, looking good. Like it. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. So he was weeding. So we've um, I've done these two fields, both with sugar beet. So if we have a quick look at the map, actually, we'll get it up to date where we are, what's going on. So I've now got four fields of sugar beet. Uh, this one of oats. This one of sunflowers. This is my next test field. This one's got barley in it. We've done wheat and oats in it. Uh, they're gradually getting there, but very gradually. Actually, the oats are the barley. Sorry, isn't too far off, and neither is this one here, which was oat. We said right. Uh, might do some. Might do some straw pellets off that field. I think. Um, so actually, yeah, that's that. That's weeded. Everything's growing. This is now being ploughed out. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, what should we do next? We could tidy up for a start. And actually, everything's weeded and everything's fertilised, right? There's nothing that needs fertilising. Ah, those two do. Oh, okay. So clearly I didn't. Um, <laughs> I've got to slurry them first, so that's fine. Once they've started growing, we'll uh, we'll get some slurry on those two fields as well. 
Oh, I did also, if you remember from last time, I was having a bit of trouble with, uh, having a bit of trouble, um, with, uh, the, uh, the crates that I bought, the pallets I bought to put the, um, the egg boxes on, um, but they were fine, as I suspected, uh, given, um, given a reset of the game, they were absolutely fine. So that's now been sorted, and I've got them started stacking those up. I don't know what the mix is like, I hope it's okay, it seems a little bit loud to me, but um, hopefully it's alright. Actually that was dumb, because what I should have done was drop this off first. We could have a look actually and see if there's any crops we can sell. We could do a run for um, some digestate from down the biogas plant, put it in the silo. Um, all sorts. Just a bit of general tidying up for a second. And I think if we um, if we run out of jobs to do, then the next thing to do will be to um, find somewhere to position the, uh, uh, the the new cow barn. I think. Hold in for wool. Okay, so that's nearly full as is that, so that's fine. Just take a run through, clean up the animals. Ah, didn't take long. Let's go do the cows while we're at it, might as well. So yeah, it turns out the milk trigger is just inside this door, which actually should have been fairly obvious because there's some milk churns just there. Um, I'm not sure how I missed that. But I was convinced it was that little shed to the side. I don't know why. In the end, it was done. So it wasn't a problem at all. I still had to use the little, um, the little churns that I've got, the sort of water and milk containers that I've been using to give the cows their water as well. Uh, but it didn't take too long in the end. I was a bit worried they're only 2,000 litres apiece, but uh, it didn't take so long. Right. Well, do we need anything else actually? Animal wise, hmm, chickens aren't too bad. I'll clean them up for the end of the day. Cows we've just done. TMR's okay, water's all right, straw's fine. Same with the sheep. Got a horse to ride, actually. Could do that at some point too. Let's do a run of uh, digest eight and we'll get to go and see how that feels going. Might use my wheel for a start. So a weird thing happened, we've had a, an update to this truck, the agro truck, um, it disappeared completely. I downloaded the update, came back onto the map and it just, I didn't own the truck anymore. So I had to release it, luckily I'd only leased it and not bought it, that would have been a bit annoying. But anyway, it is fine. So yeah, see I've done the gravel on that side, so I don't need to figure out what I'm going to do with this main road actually. Probably just gravel it as well for now. Some nice undulations on this road, take the track to look. How's he getting on? Oh, pretty good actually. So actually once he's a bit further across we could come and plant this field. Um, I guess the question is what? I suppose the field next door is not that far off being ready, so maybe I'll put a corn in it again. I wouldn't normally, but um, we've got the planter. Uh, it just makes sense. I've got a planter and no cedar at the moment, so I may as well get the most out of the planter. We'll, put, we'll do corn and uh, do another lot of chaff for the biogas plant, but we'll do both fields this time. So put corn in that one. When the other one's harvested, that'll get corn in it as well. It's only a stage, those two stages technically behind.
I'm in the right place? Not quite. Shadow's a bit misleading. Uh, am I not in the right place? Two hundred thousand litres of digestate. So how much have we got up in the silo now? Ah, it counts both, so it's kind of hard to tell. We've got two hundred ninety and two hundred ninety thousand in total, just over three hundred thousand in total. So not too bad. Could do a stocking up on some fertilizer actually. Got some straw pellets in store as well. What are the prices like? Whoa, price at the store barn's pretty decent. Actually, that price at the store barn's very decent. I mean, I guess it won't be a mass of money in the grand scheme of things, but it's still 22,000, well, over 22,000. Not to be sniffed at. Should have gone back over the Weybridge, but there you go. How about we go back the other way? So I haven't done all of this yet because I don't own part of it and there's still some grass left down so but I have done up towards the end of the field and round the corner still needs a bit of neatening up as well and the grass is regrown already so yeah when I when I buy this next bit of this next plot then uh, we'll we'll come and do this but yeah you can see it's only partially mowed and I can't pick up that grass uh, so I didn't do all of this but I'll um, yeah when it's re when it's regrown I'll cut it again and we'll do it um, and uh, yeah before I do that I'll buy that that next plot across so that I have it but I've done this bit here So this bit's now done all the way around. I say it still needs a bit of neatening up, but uh, on the whole, it's not too bad. Feels like some progress has been made anyway. I think we also need to do is clear the manure out from the cows. There's quite a lot in there, and obviously, I can't get rid of the current. Mind you, actually, I probably can thinking about it, but I don't want to risk it. You probably could sell the current um, cow barn and the manure when you sell it would stay. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. But um, maybe I'll do it and then just you know not save it if it doesn't work. Not too bad. I'll need to move it at some point anyway. bit of work to do on some of these tracks. Ah, oh, is that going to be in the way? Or can I just get close enough to the trigger in spite of it? No, so I'm not going to do it that way, am I? bit late now, jackknifed. Hmm, this is quite hard to do from a reverse camera angle. Let me just think about this for a minute. There we go. Surely you're going to hit the trigger, right? Surely. Oh, come on. No, it's not going to do it. That's just mean. Ah, there you go. That's bizarre. Right. There we go. 
you did. Right, how's our worker getting on? Okay, a bit on the slow side. Fine, to be expected. Oh yes, let's move this out of the way. I, uh, I use this to refill the cedar. Planter, sorry, technically. Just a couple of bags of fertilizer on the front. Seed, sorry, green seed. I know what I mean. Need to go clean up the chickens, get that trailer. So we could sell those straw pellets. That'd be a fun thing to do. Remarkably few jobs, but I don't want to speed up time because it'll start to get dark. I suppose we could take the horse for a ride. Let's go ride the horsey before it gets too dark, and then by the time we're done, chances are and I suppose actually what we could also do, speaking of filling this up, is jump across to the planter itself. It's doing alright actually. Nearly halfway. Let's get the planter, which I just sort of... I don't know why I left it there, actually. It's a funny place to leave it. Uh, yeah, we'll take it as it is. It's not ideal, but it's not going to do any of the crops any harm. It'll be all right. It's easy to fill it like this, I think. This had an update as well. I can't remember what the changes were on this one. Uh, it's stayed exactly as it was. I love this tractor. Thank goodness for not having narrow... Because I think what we might actually know, we haven't got, haven't used that much fertilizer. Actually, you know what? We don't need to fill it up. It's absolutely fine. So in that case, can lower it down, unfold it. No, not detach it. Uh, okay, now I'm being stupid. Why can't I? Why can't I unfold it? Why am I being stupid? Lift sower, turn on sower, ridge marker, open cover. No. Turn on sower, open cover, select seed, ridge marker, blah, detach. Is it only something you can do? Oh, fold. There we go. Oh, you can't. You have to. Oh, of course you do. No, that was stupid. There we go. That was kind of dumb. Of course, you have to unfold it first. So do that. I haven't got enough room. Have I got enough room? Just about, maybe. A bit sneaky. We need to tidy up. I'm just leaving vehicles all over the place. Make sure we change it to corn. Oh, actually, there's other. Th oh, I knew there was something I'd forgotten we needed to do. So what I did do uh, while I was down here was pick up all those bits of wood. So when I ploughed out these two tr two fields, um, I cut down a few trees and uh, pushed left all the wood to one side. So. Um, going to turn this around so it's facing the right way so I've actually been with the trailer and picked up all those bits of wood so we now need to chuck those through the uh, the wood chipper so there's a little job to do and it was a lot of wood actually I've still got a few more bits to pick up not much mind so if I leave that there Fold it, lower it down, take the weight off. Done, thank you. I do like the startup sounds on that. Right, ooh, that needs a wash. Got some weight on the back of there. Yeah, so we got all this. So actually, I'm going to lift that off a minute. And the 
this one. So what I did was I put all of the big bits, um, I had to cut a few bits smaller, so what I then also did was put those in the front loader, but I had to um, I had to take the bucket off. This was on the JCB, but I had to take it off uh, because I needed the JCB to refill the planter, so. Probably worth a fortune, but you know, better than nothing. Every little helps, as they say. Used in a completely non-trademark sense. Come on. Oh, don't get stuck. It's been a while since we've done some forestry. No. Hello. It's not quite as much fun when you don't fly up when you pick up a piece of wood anymore. I actually will need that in a minute because then I can go clear the chickens as well. That's empty, right? Yep. Got it. Okay, bigger bits. There's a wee bit here, but it won't take long. It didn't take me that long to fill it. And then it's stuck. No, it's going to go. Okay. I really thought that wasn't, wasn't going to go in. Is that bit affected by that strap? Yes, it is. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> that probably will get stuck. It's going in now. That did it. affected by this strap despite the fact that it was not touching any of them this will be fun I don't even get anything for this probably worth time bringing it over oh oh it's going yeah that was about it okay it's like that what was that game called plunk trying to move the straws without losing your marbles and that's definitely sometimes what wood stacking feels like trying not to lose your marbles there you go beautiful still making good use of Sir Jim's wood chipper there's a few more trees to come down actually as well before we start proper forestry if you like just a few more loose trees here and there that I've spotted they're going to need to come down fairly soon so um, and I've already had so I returned the um, the, wood, the tree harvester the little Sampo Rosen Lou Rosen you know what um, and because uh, I've got something else in mind next time Each individual bit isn't worth masses, but you know what? It's it's adding up pretty quickly. As you can see, there was quite a lot. Is that taking some of the weight off the tractor yet? No, it hasn't. Look at it. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a very good effect. Oh, so I might have a new game to to, uh, to stream at some point at the request of my son. So maybe later on today or tomorrow sometime. Or should do some snow runner. Uh, see, Bass has requested we do some multiplayer or suggested that you'd be happy to help out so I'll try and set that up that would be cool I've done a little bit I'm back on Michigan with um, my Voron and the stuff that I got from Lake Covt the two new vehicles and I tell you what pff, easy work easy work that Voron that little Voron A whatever it is is brilliant so yeah definitely doing some more of that soon I've done a little bit this week on my Todd play life's been a little bit too crazy between work and alleged holiday but good to be back on here I've also got another shamrock video ready to come out I just need to finish editing it the next um, sandy bay 
is nearly ready as well. I should record another one of those actually, I'm enjoying that. I really am. Oh, sorry. But for right now at least, see what happens with that. It'll hit me on the head. Look, I'm wearing a helmet. Um, this is my only stream map right now. I'm waiting for the next one to come out. That's doing weird things. What's going on here? There we go. We did some more trains, actually. Trains in World 2 is coming out on the 20th of August. That will be coming. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so, not only am I so looking forward to it, I'm so disappointed that they have to push back the, the launch date. But, you know, these things happen. Can't blame them for it. It's just unfortunate timing. Because I'll be back at work by then, so my time will be... Well, I say my time will be slightly less limited, but you know what? Slightly more limited. You know what? This is my first stream and I've been at home for a week. It's just not good enough. Just not good enough. Come on. So I guess if that barley feels nearly ready, then I'll need to do that on my time lapse as part of my test test harvest series, test crop series, crop test, whatever. I forgot what I called it. That thing, that thing I did. Nearly finished. I didn't, really, I didn't notice how much we had when we started, but we're, we're doing all right now. Has that worker finished? No, he's still going. Okay. It's a lot like the numbers are going down, but it is. There we go. Last one. And we're done. Can't quite see. The only problem with getting these in white, of course. I didn't really think about that. Let's put that on there. Can't see where your hand is to pick them up. It's a very white, very pale skin, you know, very white hands. Okay. Actually, you know what? That's just the natural lean of the tractor. Or just the weight of the trailer. Done. Right. I think it must be time to go plant that field up. Oops, sorry, driving through my pretty flowers. Well, we could do the horses. Actually, no, let's go ride the horse. Yeah, it's just the trailer. Now the only challenge with doing one horse and not doing the other one immediately afterwards is the question of, see look, egg boxes, nice, all lined up, all ready to go. Uh, which horse have I ridden and which one I haven't? Because they never look quite the same in the stable as they do, sorry, <coughs> in, I say real life, not really. Uh, so it's Chance that needs riding, slightly paler, dark lit, okay, so that should be this one. Hello. Oi. Oh, hey. Behave. Why? Come on then, let's have a gallop. Uh, 
must make sure I put water in the greenhouses. I think I did do them earlier in the day, but I should always remember to do them before night time, by bedtime, you know. So they don't run out overnight. Also need to buy more land this way. Actually, not what we could do. I was going to go... Hmm. I was going to take the same route I did last time and come back through that forest. There's a bit of a sort of track through that forest, but you know what? Let's go this way, because I want to scout out a few areas for purchasing and other actions. So I'm going to buy this plot so I can extend the road across. And I want to put something here. It's not perfectly flat, but I think it'll do. And it'll go nicely next to the windmill. It'd be nice to have a sort of second sort of area of population. It's the wrong way to put it, but you know what I mean. Stuff going on. Does look nice, that windmill. Maybe I'll put some trees up there. Just to give that a bit of sense of surprise. It's a bit sort of exposed. You don't want them too high, of course, because you want the windmill to get the wind. You don't want it sheltered by the trees, but a bit lower down it could have some trees. And we'll just come back this way. Let's go see if we can spot somewhere to put them in the cow shed. So I'm going to put it down this road down here, I think. Maybe we'll have time to do that today. So I think this flat area down here, I'm not sure how flat it will actually be when I try and build on it, but it looks like a good place sort of extend my sort of yard around a little bit. Ultimately I'll have quite a large cow shed so I need to be very careful and think about where I want to put that and maybe I'll put the next one on this side so that I leave space on this side which is a good flat open area of land uh, and would make a good place to put the cow shed so that could be the answer. Carrying on down so I want to put in the new um, root crop cell point as well. I kind of want that a bit further away. It's very industrial looking, so I kind of want that, you know, a bit further away from the main farm. So somewhere over here, I was thinking, but I haven't really scouted the area out yet. So while you're riding your horse, having a good hack, it's probably the best way to do it. Where on the map? This make a great field. Nice little curve of the countryside. Yeah, so somewhere probably down in this corner, 58, 59. I'll have to put a track into it, but that's okay. I'll need to put a track, some tracks in to get that out to these fields anyway, so that's not a problem, that'll need doing. Yeah, maybe somewhere over here. Little sort of industrial area plenty of space. I also just want to do it to make, you know, start using the different bits of the map. I'm very focused in certain areas at this point. Or I also thought about putting it down here close to the road. So perhaps, yeah, bottom end of 58. That could work. So much to explore, so much to do. me years to do this map. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. It is to the to an extent it's the way I'm doing it because I'm playing it and and building it at the same time. It's only build when I've got the money or the time build, you know, landscape, etc. Right, let's head back this way, see how our work is doing. It looks like he's doing alright, so by the time we get back, we should be Oh yeah, goodness, well more than 100% riding, so that's fine, we'll go straight back. And by the time I get back it should be time to pick up, come back, back and pick up the planter. I also discovered yesterday, now I don't know if this is new or not, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think so, when I was uh, riding Ember, um, 
that um, if the horse is out of the stable, it's a vehicle. And I'd never noticed that before. Now maybe they've always been like that, but I'd never noticed that before. So if I stop for a minute, I'll show you what I mean. So if I go off, right, hello horsey, I get back on it just by tagging. But if I tag through all of my vehicles, then eventually I'll end up back on the horse. And I'd never noticed that before. Anyway, just an aside. It's quite handy because I did at some point a worker had stopped. Maybe it was when the worker ran out of seed or fertilizer or whatever it was. And I, uh, I was riding the horse at the time, so I jumped off the horse, and lo and behold, thought, oh, that was a mistake. And I've got to run all the way back to the horse to get it back again. And I just jumped through to it. I was amazed. But uh, same, maybe it's always done that, but I've never noticed it before. Just me not being observant. There's occasionally, of course, you sort of, you know, you come across these things by accident, and it does make sense. At the end of it, you get into it like a vehicle. So why wouldn't you? But it's just it disappears from being a vehicle when it's in the stable. It's very clever. go. Right, just give him a quick brush down. Him, her, oh, uh, chance. Uh, I love the fact they just disappear when you bring back the stable. No, there's Ember. Where's Chance? Hello. Hiding in the trees, no doubt. Oh, I heard a noise. Oh, no, hiding in the bushes. Now stand still. Stand still. Stand. Oh no! <laughs> Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's about to change to my horse. That would have been unfortunate. Would have been one way to clean it. Um. Right. the undergrowth. Just could clean up the chickens very quickly actually, that would be a good thing to do. So in case you don't know, this is the bag, uh, the pallet bag handler, it's the big bag handler from the CSZ pack, but also it actually works quite well with these um, he says, now it's gone really weird. It usually works quite well with these bags. Wow, seriously, what's going on? All right, have it your way. Um, yeah, it works quite well, you can just hook them, so you do two at once, which is better than using the one that comes with them, which only takes one at once. I quite like doing that. What I should, of course, do is have one with seed and one with fertiliser, so I can do both at the same time, but they were just, there happened to be two fertiliser ones handy, and it was fertiliser it needed more. But then I put seed on the tractor and did that anyway. Although they're round or something, anyway. Let's just very quickly go clean up the chickens. Thought we might as well while we're here. Give that worker a little bit more time. more of that field. Done. 
Nope, wrong way. Let's actually move this now as well while we're here. I'll do a few more runs of that off screen so we get that digeste out. And as I said, a small amount of manure, <laughs> rather. Yeah, they definitely need more space, these cows. Look at that, good grief. How much is that? 21,000 litres. We've, we've already got another nearly 6,000 litres of slurry, another 522 litres of milk. Wowzers. Need to finish those up. I'm determined that I'll use those and create at least one more lot of small bales just because they're fun before I uh, get rid of that equipment. Uh, I don't know why I'm running. Why am I running to? Nowhere. Because this is what we need. I think they've changed the startup sound on this tractor. I really like it. Getting a bit dark already. Yeah, that high, high, deep shadow of uh, late afternoon, early evening. That's interesting. I didn't think planters could do that. We don't actually have to cultivate, but I usually do. I like to. Reasonable re realism and uh, phew, more kit. And that's always a good thing, using more toys. Now what's the, what's worker dude doing? To keep an eye out, see what he does at the edge of the field, because it might need some work when he's finished. Because you may have a slight limitation on this field that actually Hmm, let's see how he does the last edge. Because of the orientation of the packer, I may not be able to do the very last row with it, which means I'll just go and get my other cultivator or just not bother, to be honest. Which we could, I mean, you know. Who cares? I need to do a multiplayer corn harvest next time, I'm thinking. Right, I can see we're going to need some overlap. I didn't do that particularly well. So, no, no, ah, oh, seriously, really? Nope, yep. How's that looking? That looks alright. Yeah, I missed a slight a slight line there, but it's not too bad. It's quite a lot of overlap though, doesn't it? Ridge marker could be a heck of a lot further out, but actually the, the ridge it's done is good enough to put the front wheel in, so that's not too bad. It's also correcting the fact that it wasn't particularly straight to start with, so actually that's not too bad at all. So let's do that then. It's allowing us the overlap to fix it. 
Good. I'm being lazy again using the controller. Oh, sorry. Pressed it twice, shouldn't have done. What I do want to do though is zoom in. In fact, we should be in cab really, shouldn't we, to do this? Ooh, have they though? There's the question. Eh, uh, sorry. Oh, I was right. Okay, it was 20. Okay, good. Yep, all good. Was a bit of a risk doing it in cab. But I think the ridge mark is helping. I hope so. Right, what we should probably do is go and uh, have a quick look at that other tractor. see what uh, what he left us in in the end It'll also give us a chance to check that we're getting this lined up properly I think we want to be about there or it could be a bit a little bit further over actually right, let's try that Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's leave work on it for a second. And let's, oh, no, it would have been good to just jump out and run across the field. Right, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. But you know what? So long as it's ploughed out, all right, I'm not overly worried. And it may not be perfect. Let's see. Yeah, it's not. Uh, okay. Fine. So the slag is he's the slag the snag is that he's ended up cultivating this bit on the edge but not ploughed it equally not he then replowed out that bit but not cultivated it so we'll do that is that about right it's spot on. That other worker's going to catch us up in no time, but that's no big deal. He's going to leave a bit that's just ploughed, just at the edge, but it's fine. It'll still plant. It's okay. So there are certain limitations of using this. You can't use the pack on its own. So when you get to the very edge, you're a little bit stuck to be able to completely plough it out. So we said it was 10 to fold that away. And then X to fold the whole thing. And we're away. Quite well, was interesting. I mean it's not like I said, it's not quick, but actually that's alright. It's done a good job. How's our worker getting on? Fine. Ah. Any more weeds crop up yet? Because I only weeded part of field 25. This, well, field 25. This field was completely weeded, or full of weeds, it's been weeded. This field was only partly full of weeds. Um, so yeah, expecting more weeds in this corner one here. 
so not yet I reckon let's look at cows let's see um, hey tiny how you doing my friend uh, animal pens that's what we want and I think ooh now hmm hmm oh yeah no, that's pretty big okay fine so let's not this is the one I was going to use next so the one we've got now is uh, this one goes up 30 cows we've got 23 this one goes up to 200 I have got in mind another large cow barn to use later on but for now we might even use our gyms as well this one's only 80 grand which isn't too bad so let's have a look not going to put it there, could do though. Let's have a look. Oh, good for you. Hope that's going all right. Good news. Yeah, allegedly I'm on holiday though. I've still seem to have spent most of my week working. It's not been the most relaxing holiday week ever. I suppose it's the other nag of having a staycation, right? I'm at home, which means it's very difficult to just get away from it. But hey. Ah, so the slight snag of this is I'm not allowed to fine tune the position of it. I can only have it lengthways or, oh, that's a bit sucky. Well, that would be all right. Which way round does it sort of go to the extent that any of these have a way round? Actually, that way round. So let's have it a little bit closer to the road. I think that would be okay, actually. Just conscious that when I put a really big pasture in, I probably want to use that area on the other side, which is that bit bigger. You know what? I think that'll be fine. I don't really want it lengthways. Mm, I don't sort of have a a road that really sits square. That said, I suppose I could put it along here. Will still give me room. Oh, actually, that goes nicely. Yeah, will still give me room. Or I could even put it on this side. Either. Actually, yes. And I'll still have room then to put a bigger one just around the corner when it comes to it. Yeah. Actually, I like that. Tank is empty. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Looks like most of the triggers are on the front here. So it makes sense to be there. So let's just find a nice slot. Doesn't, doesn't appear to have an outdoor space. So... Which is a bit of a shame, but it'll do for now. It's sort of semi-temporary. Just allow me to expand the herd a little bit while we build up something really big. Let's try that. So, worker's empty. What's he empty of? Oh, he's run out of seed. Oh, okay. Uh, quickest way to do that. That's what I should have done before I did that was save the game, but never mind. There you go. What sort of things have you been playing, Tiny? You still uh, haven't, s haven't seen your stream for a while, have I? Is that because of your your uh, new job? Mind you, I haven't streamed for a while either, so... Um, but I have seen you, but I'm trying to think what I've seen you playing. I've seen you online playing stuff, but I can't remember what. So we need a bag of seed. Just one will do. They don't take much. Let's hope we have one. That seed. Oh, that seed. Good. You are getting a bit low, though. You think about doing a proper run. Emergency, emergency, seed run, seed run. funny it's not that big that field I I looked and thought oh, I'll be fine I have plenty no apparently not ah yeah 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 that makes sense oh well it's good you got your job then that should help stabilize things a little bit good for you
but I shall look forward to when you're back on um, what's it called the Irish the Irish farm because uh, I do like that one on FS17 There we go. The other nice thing about seed only is it's at the back and not quite so tricky to get to. You can get to the fertilizer just with the tractor front loader, but only just. It's a bit more of a stretch, whereas of course seeds right at the back, so it's easier. Uh, won't take much. Oh, that was virtually empty. Oh, I wasn't a full bag. Yeah. Oh well. It'll do for now. Ooh, actually, you know what? While we're here as well, finally, I'm here with the tractor with the free, free three-point link. Yeah, that should do. Right, let's get that going. Because actually, the bag lifter is here. And has been for some time. So it's about time I picked it back up. See, so yeah, this is where I'd left all the wood the other day, but by the time I'd uh, obviously got the trailer on, I couldn't really. I suppose I could have fiddled with it and taken the trailer off and put the three-point, you know, the bag lifter on and blah blah. But uh, not easy. Could actually. Mm, no. I'll do it at some point because so I'll bring I'll use the trailer and I'll bring it up, fill it. Cool. Yeah, I'll bet. That's good. So things slightly easing over there now. I'd started to go back to the office a bit more. I mean our office has been open for a few weeks now, but everyone's just got used to working from home, so you know, but I had been in the office a few times. Actually, I enjoyed it. It was good to be back in the office. A bit more of normality, if you like. Those trees are coming on well, too. So the only thing about the plantable trees is they're just a little bit... They get a bit too tall and a bit too leggy, a bit thin. But um, I'm not risking... Uh, there are issues with some of the placeable trees, and I'm just not going to risk it. Lockdown slowly recommencing, oh dear. Yeah, I've heard that in, in some countries. Uh, the UK is very much the same. Over here, it's things have eased. I think they're, very, they're being very cautious, but I think that's sensible. Some things have started to open up more. Well, I hope it doesn't get too serious. Put that down. No point. Let's put that out. Really? Has he really? Has he really finished his task? Are we sure about that? Because you know, I have a natural skepticism when it comes to workers and their reports. But there'll be no tea and biscuits if it's not done right. No, by the way, no. Has he actually finished? First there's no mass, then we have fear. Oh, good grief. Uh, my general opinion of masks is, well, it doesn't do anyone any harm, why wouldn't you? It may or may not do anything, but equally it might do. <laughs> if it might do, it's worth it. I ain't just have to be careful, really. We're, we have to wear masks all the time. But I, it doesn't bother me. I, it's a sensible precaution. In fact, it's getting to the point now where it feels weird to take one off. You know, so if you're in a restaurant or something, obviously you take your mask off, which we did yesterday afternoon. But it feels weird when we do. There we go, that's that bit. It's short, honey.
There we go. Done. Unfold it out. Put it facing the right way. Lower it down. So again, when the first signs of growth, along with the uh, the other two fields that I've just done, we'll get uh, we'll get this slurried or manured or something. We we'll get something. I need a cedar. Actually, what when I've done barley, what's the next crop? Technically cotton, but we can skip it and do canola, which I can do with this. That's perfect. And then some flowers. I'll have no need for a cedar for a really, really, really long time. Awesome. should have done was then left it in the other shed but it doesn't matter I'll tidy up later you know what we could do I was just I'm in an orange well, so what we should do sorry is go and check out the new cow shed Well, it's dark in here. I've got a light switch somewhere. I've never placed it before, so I've no idea what it's like. Ooh, that light switch. Yay. Cool. Nice. I mean, it's a shame it is all inside, but it's temporary. So are these all doors? No. No. They look like they are, but no. Oh, none of these open at all. Oh, alright. Whoa. Sure? No. Wow, because they really look like they should. Doesn't matter. The Lily Luna. What's that? It's like a cloud cow. Oh, for goodness sake. It's like a cow cleaning thing. Oh, hang on. Ooh, they've all got strange delays on them. That's really weird. Oh, right. Okay, now it opened. Closed. I know what I mean. Isn't that funny? Try again? It's just got a delay. Okay, fair enough. Okay. But not that one still. So I think here somewhere is the feeding trough, water, etc. Looks like that's where your straw goes. Oh yeah, there's the water trough. Looks like that's where your straw goes. So the feeding trough must be over there. These got all... There's a cow brush. It's, it's a car wash for cows. That's what I said. <laughs> cow brush, brilliant. Yeah, so they do all open. They've just got a bit of a delay. What about these ones around here? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, does that mean I've opened those ones at the other end? No, I didn't, okay. Fine. Close that. Close that. So this is our cow trigger. Yep. Okay. I'm tempted to buy some just to put in. So yeah, feed. Milk point is here. That's quite cool. That explains why that one doesn't open. Slurry points there. Manure side, manure bunker thing. I like it. It's pretty flat. It's fitted in really nicely. No sudden jumps or bumps in the landscape, which is nice because eventually, at some point, I'll take it out and I'll want to reuse the land. So that's good. Nice. I like it. I might grass it up around the edges a little bit at least, just in places. So yeah. So what cows have we got now? Let's get the same cows. Brown and white, okay. Let's get some more. How many got now? Sorry. Twenty-three. I don't know 
I'll just that. That's what I did. Uh, brown and white. One, two, three, four, five. That's 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32, 34, 35. Confirm. Done. I don't know I did that. Actually, I will need to get a um, cow trailer, of course, at some point. Animal animal trailer to uh, to move them from one pasture to the other. Could switch the lights off, really. Okay. Chobbling away at the concrete, which is a bit weird. There we go. There's a slight delay on all these triggers. But that's right. Cool. Right. In that case, we've got to feed them something. And then I think it'll be time to call it a day. So gradually, as they whittle down the food, so what's left in this? Uh, yeah, so once they've used that TMR and the straw and water, once, once they all get to a low point, I don't know, at a point at which before none of them run out, so we maintain a level of productivity, then I'll move them all. Right, so... Got some bales in here. Yep. Has this got a hook on the back? No, right? Has it got any feed in it? No, it's empty. There's another hook on the back. No. Sorry, just nudge it gently. It's very light, it's fine. Just like I said, in the interest of using up what we got. We. Oui. <laughs> that was lucky. This bale is not supported. Says who? Ah. Uh, you know, I'm sure I've used them in there before. All right, fine. Have it your way. So what's going to happen to the bale then if it's not supported? That's a shame. But not to worry. Right, let's get the mix right. Remind me, capacity of this was what? So let's go 40% silage. That'll loop. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Yeah, so it really, it's now just got a bale sitting in there. At some point I shall have to, oh, no more space at all. Oh, suddenly everything goes crazy. At least the crops haven't suddenly turned as well. That would have been annoying. Right. Yeah, that'll definitely be tomorrow. Plants don't grow overnight. It's getting too dark now. Uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> it's fine, it's still a mix. Right, we'll take the off-road route.
So this should be feed. There we go. Oh, no, missed it. It was feed. Oh, something to do with the fact it's on the wrong side. Well, we're not having that, are we? Uh, oh, really? Can't change sides? Tip side. There we go. Wowzers, they took a lot. God, barely touched the sides. Crikey. Okay, there's a little job for me to do off screen, then, eh? But still, keep them going for now. Let's get them going. That's the important thing. that basis what I'm actually going to do is leave this right here ready and I can uh, refill it a bit later on uh, let's grab a tractor Where's the business end? This is the business end. So the hook end is this end. It's starting to get a little bit on the dull side. You know that's not going to go really far, is it? Oh, note to self. Don't forget. Oh. You know what we'll do this that's what I remember throwing out of here into that wasn't into the mixer wagon it was into that really I threw it there's no way I'm gonna hit that oh so close This could cope with a smaller tractor, couldn't it, really? I just need to take it a little bit steadier around. So it does work with these small bales, but of course the small bales don't sit quite so well in the uh, in the bed. They're not snug like a big square bale or a horizontal round bale would be. So you just have to take it a little bit more careful on the corners, but it works well. Yeah, I can't adjust the height. Actually looks good there, that building, I like it. Seems to sit well. Right, straw we said was here. Hopefully. Hello. Uh, okay. Somewhere. Triggers do seem to be a little bit odd. Let's try just picking one up and chucking it in as a bale and see what happens. Once in there, can't pick them up again. Tricky. Huh. Well, that's not annoying. Once it's in there, I actually can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. It's a very narrow trigger. Something tells me that's not going to go really far. No. It 
sorry, bump. There we go. <laughs> As it uses each bale, it stops. Which I have to say, I hadn't, hadn't noticed before, but it's, um, it is working. In fact, it's working really well now. That should be... Oh, no. Nowhere near enough. Now it's all gone. But it's a good start. And last, but by no means the least, water. What to do with this little patch of land? Maybe I should... Um, I could put a shed on it or something. Um, yeah, because I need to figure out, once I've moved the cows from here, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that space. Eventually, I will move the sheep as well. So again, I need to be thinking about what to do with the space that I've got. But anyway. I will leave this round here so it's ready. I can put some more bales in it. As I say, I want to finish these up because I am going to make one more lot. They do last a long time. Um, to be honest, once I'm at the point where they don't last a long time, I shall need to be using bigger bales. So uh, that will be the point at which to change fully to probably square bales. I don't really know. Don't really know. I've been, I've been doing a lot of round bales, so I might move to square bales. It depends what I guess what I do on my new map when it comes. That's a wee way away yet, so we'll see. There we go, nicely. Now nah, let's cut across country. I might want to put a track around the edge of the lake actually. I might do that. Let's take the shortcut. Water was at the other end. Oh, no, that's interesting. There's a little sort of hayloft up there. Can I get up? Can I open the door? <laughs> yes. Ooh, so I could put bales up here. I mean, I could, to be honest, once they're up here, there's not a lot you can do with them. It's a great space, though. How cool is that? I could sell my house and live up here. Be a bit smelly. Nice. Uh, let's see. So at least they've got enough water, if nothing else. But yeah, so I need some more straw, need some more TMR. I might do loose straw, actually. Uh, have I still got the forage wagon? I don't, do I? Did I get rid of it? I didn't. I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, not sure where it is though, I haven't seen it for a while. Mind you, equally I could use those straw pellets I've got. Or I could sell them, I'm not sure of loose straw right now, so it's not a big deal. I don't need to worry about using straw pellets for storage at the moment because I've got more storage than I've got straw and more need than and more than I've got need for straw, so it's not a big deal. Yes, yeah, so I could fill up the loading wagon, bring that round, put some more straw into it that way rather than using the bales. Shredder, doesn't really matter. Actually, while we've got this, I might as well go top up the greenhouses for overnight. That's done as well. I've got some more wood to go pick up. So I might just do those last little cu couple of quick jobs. And then I might, uh, I might end the stream. I have no idea how long I've been going for. But I've enjoyed it. It's been good to get back on here. It's taken a while sort of... Not jam myself up to it's the wrong way of putting it, but just to sort of, I don't know, allow myself, if you like, to sit and just say, right, I'm going to stream now. 
I need nothing else and just sit and stream. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It has just always been very relaxing and very pleasurable getting more jobs done. But I need to go make myself a cup of coffee and think about what things I need to do. Sadly, including some work. But there you go. And some little DIY jobs, no doubt. But rumour has it we're going to the beach for a picnic and uh, a nighttime swim this evening. Well, nighttime evening swim. It gets dark quite early around here, so it's very easy to do these things in the dark. So I suppose that would be quite fun. What was that I said? Oh yeah, wood. I think there's only one or two trees. There's not going to be a lot, but it's worth going to get it while I was while I'm in the habit and then I need to clear out all that manure stock up the cows and then gradually start uh, wittering down I haven't even looked at prices, what are prices like? Have we got anything that desperately needs to be sold? Ooh the milk price is going up that would be worth keeping an eye on actually at the bakery that's good that's very good Canola's going up at the garden centre. That's good. Oats, pretty stable, very high dough at vehicle shop grains. Yeah, so I might need to sell some stuff. Barley, we've got a lot. Need to keep some oats for the horses, of course. Oh, that's sorry. That was the one thing I did just spot just as I went in. I see the price of straw pellets is dropping. Yeah, it is. And that's an exceptionally high price. For straw particularly, for hay pellets, nah, but for straw, that's a very high price. So while there's still some legs in that. Sorry horses, but the advantage of you having an open pasture is that I can drive straight through it. <laughs> What the other trailer? Ooh, I really need to wash my tractor. Oh, yeah, I know. I need to empty the ball pallets out. Okay, all right. Sorry, I forgot about that. So that's us moved up to uh, Cow Barn Stage 2. And there'll be a Stage 3 or maybe even a Stage 4. We'll see. This will go in the loose bit, I would assume, as opposed to the bail point. It should be about there. There we go. You're not finished yet. I wonder what it is about this trailer. 
may need to replace it. In fact, I have identified a trailer I want to get. Mind you, I was kind of keeping that. Oh, come on! What if I come out, go back in? Because every time you do that, the price will change. That's better. There we go. No idea how much that just made, because, you know, it's slightly more difficult to figure out. It's quite a bit, though. That'll do. I'll have some more soon. That's a good price, though. I'm glad I got trailer load done. I do often forget to sell things, so when I'm not in a desperate crush for money, I do... It, it's really easy just to keep getting on with the jobs and not actually checking the prices and going, oh, actually, I should sell that. I mean, I could just do what I'm saying all the time, a lot of the time, like, I don't know, Daggerwin, for example, will just harvest a field and go sell it, especially on these multiplayer maps. He tends just to, you know, right, where's the best price? Right, let's go sell it. I should probably just do that, because otherwise I'd just sit and wait for an amazing price, and then, of course, either miss the price because I'm not checking or I'm too busy or whatever else, you know. Right, in... In line with current trend, I right, switch that off. Did I switch the beacons off? I did. And right, let's go grab this bit of wood. Yeah, it really does bring it down, doesn't it, when you put the weight of that on the back. It's alright when it's low, but when you put it up high... Whoopsie, sorry. Oh, that 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 wasn't good. No. No really driving along without paying attention. Oh, come on. Okay, I can go off a trailer, you know, if you're going to be annoying. I can't, I can't get it to a good angle now to get out of the way. There we go. <coughs> Whatever. How are my sunflowers doing? Looking good. I'm pretty sure that full full lights would be helpful actually. I'm pretty sure trees cut down somewhere here. On the other hand, I may need to do this in daylight. Ah, there we go. Is it just the one? It might be, you know. Oh no, there's some more bits there. So there's little bits there. So there's a couple of trees there. Any more? Did I lose some at the end of the field as well? Probably not, because I was ploughing it out at the time. No. Not that I can see, anyway. Okay. Yeah, I figured I might need to cut one or two of these, but they're just not, they're not that heavy. In fact, actually, rather than taking those off, what I'll do... is use them as a sort of load point I'll just sort of because there's not that many they can just sort of sit in between the two things he says missing completely that'll be too heavy right yeah I thought so no Oh, it wasn't exactly in the middle, was it? Oh, there you go. There you go. That's that. And that's that. Beautiful. How about this one? That also looks a little on the heavy side. Yep. Okay. That's also not in the middle. Whoa. Oi. Pick it up. Nice. 
the other side this time. Oops, well that'll do. Lovely. Right, we'll go chip these up. That'll be us done. It's uh, nearly six o'clock, so it's going to start getting a bit too dark. And uh, it'll just give me enough daylight just to get those cows a little bit more sorted in the new, the new old cow barn. And um, we'll leave it running overnight, and then I'll be in a good place to do a few time lapses. So there'll be the the barley ready, though I won't. I usually put those out two at a time, so I won't do that yet until the next, till the canola's ready. So it'll take a little bit of time before. What I'll do is I'll speed up crop growth, so it's not too far between the two. Um, and also, I'll, as I said, I'll do some building. I can't get the wrong way, really. Never mind. putting some cell points and such try and get the last of the few that I certainly planned at the moment I'm not saying that I won't do any more uh, but certainly for now they're the last planned ones I wonder so that straps there the fact that that straps on yep it's just not letting me interesting hey why wouldn't it let me pick it up there we go oh it's closer than I thought hmm that one's going to be impacted by this strap here so let's take the lot off. That wasn't particularly well done. That's just going to throw it straight out the side. Awesome. Hey, behave. Sort of. That's better. Right, if I remember rightly, I'm hoping at least that's the last of the sort of loose loose logs that I cut down from the last lot of fields we did. I hope. That one's not gone in, is it? So um Oh no, it has just a bit narrow at one end. So yeah, until we do more fields. That's that done. There we go, just drop that in nicely. this away again. Actually this time we'll spin it round. Yes, yeah, so like I say what I might do at some point as well is actually probably go and fill this with a whole load of bags and really stock up on seed and fertiliser. So I'll put this away and I'll call it there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. I've really enjoyed getting back into this after a rather lengthy absence and um, yeah if you did likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated and uh, yeah feel free to share it you know do all the usual stuff hit the bell button if you're new um, I'll try and do this a bit more often. I've got a few videos lined up to, to, to finish editing and then put out, but I'll try and do more uh, more streams again. I just I just not had the time or the headspace to be honest recently to uh, to get on regularly, but uh, which is a shame. So I'll be trying to do that more often. So yeah, keep an eye out. I'm afraid I'm a bit 
all over the place as to when I get chance at the moment but um, always enjoy it when I do so uh, I hope you did too and uh, I'll see you on the next one thanks all for watching those that are with us right now and if you watch it a bit later thank you as well I'll see you next time bye for now